How's it going everyone? Dr. Adrian Chavez here and in this video I want to talk to you about apolipoprotein B or as most people call it ApoB. This is a heart disease risk factor marker that is literally the most powerful marker. So the best way that we can test for heart disease risk long term and looking at just one thing. So doctors unfortunately are still completely focused on LDL cholesterol. And research over the last decade has shown us that LDL cholesterol is not as good of a marker as ApoB. Okay, so what is ApoB? ApoB is a protein that is placed onto LDL cholesterol particles. So what this is telling us is not overall LDL cholesterol concentration. So when we look at LDLC, and when you look at your lab work, when you look at LDL, you know, it's 130, 140, 150, whatever it may be, that's total concentration of LDL cholesterol in our blood. ApoB tells us the number of particles that that total concentration is held in. And let me give you an example, and let me draw this up really quickly on the board to give you a better understanding of this. All right, so this is patient one. And this is patient two. Okay. If you look at this, patient two obviously has a higher cholesterol concentration. So this is the cholesterol particles and based on the size of that, you can determine the concentration. Very high cholesterol concentration, but only three cholesterol particles. And this is just a basic representation. So this is low ApoB and this guy, patient one, has lower cholesterol concentration. As you can tell, they probably have less cholesterol total than what this person has, patient two has, in one particle. But they have very high ApoB because every single one of these particles is going to have an ApoB protein attached to it. This ApoB level is telling us, it's allowing us to identify the patients who have a high number of small LDL particles. Why is this important? Small, dense LDL particles are the ones that are most likely to contribute to heart disease. LDL particles are not inherently bad. LDL is very important, it has many functions in the body, and LDL particles are there for a reason. When they become Destructive is when a bunch of small particles become circulating in the bloodstream. They penetrate the walls of the blood vessels. So they will actually penetrate that layer of the blood vessel, get oxidized, and lead to the development of fibrosis, of a plaque, and eventually create some blockage or break off and create a thrombus elsewhere. We want to avoid that, and the best way to avoid that is to have a low number of able B particles. So you need if you're dealing with a cholesterol issue and you really want to get more information about your health, I definitely recommend that you get your ApoB tested if you're not getting it tested already and really focus on ApoB. All right, and different dietary strategies may not reduce your cholesterol overall, like for example, going on a lower carbohydrate, a little bit higher fat diet, that may not reduce your overall cholesterol concentration, but it may take you from this to this. And if your cholesterol stays exactly the same, but your ApoB goes down significantly, you are gonna be at lower risk of heart disease because you're gonna have less particles that have a lower susceptibility to get penetrate the blood vessel wall, get oxidized, and lead to the development of heart disease, all right? So, hope you found this video helpful. I really wanna just bring this information to you because everyone I talk to doesn't know what ApoB is. You know, I know I, I have a lot of friends, family members, on statins, on medications, and when I have this conversation with them and I ask them ApoB, if they've gotten it tested, look at their labs, it's nowhere to be found. All right, so I just want more people to ask for it, more people to take control of their health, get an understanding of your health, and be able to actually make some improvements, make some changes to take your health in the right direction because your health is in your hands. All right, so I appreciate you watching this video. If you found this helpful, I would really, really like to have you as a subscriber to my channel, I post at least one video a week, different topics related to overall health, staying optimally healthy, getting away from these chronic diseases, and really getting your body working 100% and feeling 
optimally well. All right, so I appreciate you watching this video and I hope to talk to you soon.